was reading through some security news and I spotted this piece of malware for Linux. Well, actually a very specific piece of malware because it's targeting the Nextcloud devices. Nextcloud being your own hosted method of a cloud, similar to Dropbox, but it's on your own infrastructure. And you can do what you want with it and put whatever files on it that you want. So this piece of malware all begins back with this vulnerability, an urgent security issue with Nginx and PHP FPM. And this is the default configuration of Nextcloud is to use Nginx and PHP. So there is a vulnerability with PHP below 7.1.33, 7.2.24, 7.3.11, depending on which version of the PHP series you are on. Here is the further information of common vulnerability exposure, nicknamed 2019-11043 from NIST. So yes, that is vulnerability that is likely being exploited. So here's where things begin. Help needed decrypting .nextcry files. So this appeared on Bleeping Computer on the 9th of November. The first post being, my Linux server with Nextcloud has been hacked and almost all of my personal files are decrypted now. Nextcloud started syncing the encrypted files. And it appears that this was the person's main point of storage. It doesn't have a ransom note, it does have a few original files, and there is a piece of malware included in the Dropbox file, or more likely there was, because when I've tried looking for it, uh, it's now empty for the Nextcry executable. Some work has been done in trying to understand what has gone on there. So yeah, it was a so it started as a Python script, which was executed and which was used to encrypt files on the Nextcloud device. It only encrypts the first million bytes. Well, for files that are more than a million bytes, then yeah, it encrypts the first million bytes and files below that, it encrypts them all. It is an AES encryption and it's unlikely the key can be brute forced. AES encrypted using the RSA public private key. So it is not possible to calculate it by our forces in a practical, reasonable time. So the original source code of this piece of malware was floating around on this forum, but it has now been removed. What a shame, I've missed out on that. A similar post has been created on Nextcloud, and yeah, there is mention there about the cost of decryption, that is 0 0.025 Bitcoin. Not exactly a vast sum, but paying it would be funding crime, so try not to pay these things. But if that's your only method of backup, well, you're going to be tempted to pay. So yeah, it uh, kind of goes on a little bit, the discussion here, but ultimately down the end, uh, they've resolved it. Well, found the point of how the attack happened, so we're confident the attack vector was the Nginx PHP FPM security issue that hit the web some time ago. Not exactly some time, well, it's only a couple of weeks or so. The attacker wrote a Python script which explicitly targets Nextcloud servers. We hope the lack of results will act as deterrence of doing so in the future. Given we have a $10,000 security bug bounty program, we expect most hackers to find an issue with Nextcloud serious enough to report it to them. So yeah, that is the hope, but it appears this way, someone decided to do the malicious route. Well. Are they? They're just exploiting a known vulnerability. Hmm. There's a couple of IP addresses mentioned in that post, uh, just looking at the details of what uh, Cisco have seen on that IP. Uh, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of um, malware on there. I better not scroll too far down because there are some known domains of it, and that would just be um, outing the attacker, showing off their domains. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I've not even looked at myself to see if there is actually anything on there. Anyway, on Nextcloud there is an announcement about the vulnerability that is yeah, dated a month ago. Uh, sorry these things have to happen this way, but uh, yeah. Well, I suppose there's only a mention of it if you actually log into the web interface. If you don't, if you're just using the file manager, well, you're not going to read it. There's even a mention of this malware on Kaspersky. I've had to do a translation here from Russian. So yeah, it does look a bit off in English, but yeah. So I've discovered a new malware called Nextcry on Nextcloud server. Kaspersky antivirus does not detect it. Well, there's a surprise. Actually, as it turns out, no antivirus detects it. 
there is an attached file, but I think you have to be a member of the forum, which I'm not. So it's written in Python, supposedly packed into an executable elf file by py install, after which pwn installer is dynamically obfuscated to our server, it's uploaded with a Kali payload via PHP vulnerability. That's a bit of news about some ransomware malware targeting Nextcloud servers specifically with Linux. If you have a Nextcloud device, make sure it's patched and up to date. And I have to say, this is one of the beautiful things about Snap-based applications, that they're automatically updated, so I've not had to worry about this. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.